Hello everyone and welcome back to Club. Welcome back. Oops. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Clubcast, the new series that we're doing because we want to basically. We're uh, bored. If you guys like this series, let us know in the comments down below. We'll do more of it. Like the fucking video. <laughs> if we don't get anything back, we'll probably just do another one. I'll still do it. Uh, until people say, hey, stop it. This sucks. <laughs> What are you doing? It's gonna suck. What is he doing, baby? Anyways, it's gonna suck. Uh, this is just a little <laughs> podcast thing for us. We uh, we're gonna talk about video games, movies, news, a way to stuff talk like to that. you, and also just about stuff. Yeah, and let's make this a conversation, man. People down in the comments below, you know, leave, Wh wherever, leave your opinions wherever in. Wherever you are. Yeah. Um, on the docket today, we will be talking about games for the channel in the upcoming future. We're going to talk about the the lack of content that's been on the uh, channel recently. Uh, so on and so forth. Yeah, we're going to... Ch channel shit. Rant about microtransactions. Because they suck. Yeah, they do. <laughs> we're going to talk about the Star Wars movie, the brand new one that came out. Because it sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. It doesn't. But... We're going to talk about Anthem and then... Because it Bioware. sucks. It sucks. <laughs> Bioware definitely does suck right now, anyways. But uh, it, it just all falls into a category of a down slope hill. But yeah. All right. So so let's start with video games. Yeah. Let's let's do it, man. All right. So should we act actually? Yeah, because this probably won't be going up. So after we start, we're gonna be doing Doki Doki. Yeah, that's Doki gonna be Doki cool. Literature Club. That's gonna uh, be lots of fun. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be lots of fun. I haven't I, seen anything. I, I on have it. a neutral opinion on the game, regardless. So, I have high hopes because I I'm I'm hoping anyway. If you hear scratching, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know you probably hear scratching. I, I think I do, but um, I don't yeah. know if that's gonna pick up and you guys. I'm scratching my leg. Don't worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, One playthrough, not multiple. We're thinking of doing a. Monster Hunter World played through in a way. I'm, basically, I don't know if I'll make it an actual like let's play of sorts. I might just make it into like hype moments mm. or just us killing shit. Yeah, because I I don't know if there's a necessary story to that game. I don't know if it's there just like the betas be. and there's just like hey you're going on missions. I think that might be what it is actually. Because yeah, I don't know if there's like a main quest side to Monster Hunter or not. So. We'll, we'll see yeah. what it turns out to, if it turns into anything, because our main issue is recording it. And I just realized I should probably start a timer, but yeah, recording it um, is difficult because we don't have a, a proper way to record us on an online setting. We only have the... Um, not yet, anyways. Not, not yet. And... The simple solution, because we use Elgato, would be, hey, use the chat link. I have basic bitch Elgato. <laughs> and basically, I need... I don't think there's a setting that works with it, at least not that i found. But um, it, it's really only the HD60, the, the next one up, basically. Yeah. That um, has the aux cable. That basically, you just get a, a splitter to go into the controller, to go into the to go into the Elgato to then go into your headset. Right. And it's all kinds of wonky donkey bullshit that I don't want to deal with. We're probably just going to do a Discord thing. Justin can record from his computer and the game Audio itself. from Discord. Yeah. Because it's all done, done from my house anyways. It's all on my end. E eventually, though, I'm getting my computer. Should be another couple months or so. So we'll be able to do more content. Yeah, that's gonna th be cool. But that's for later. Yeah. Maybe PUBG on the rise? Maybe Fortnite, Fortnite maybe? I have a lot of fun playing Fortnite. I have a lot of fun playing PUBG. <laughs> Out of the five times you probably played it. Dude, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly every I'm, time I played it. I, I will say, you might enjoy Fortnite a little more just because of the creativity factor mm. of it. In a way, that's my way of saying it, but. Cool. Want, uh, the Shadow of the Colossus game when it comes out as well. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. I, I just skipped ahead. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, definitely, dude. I'd be, I'd be super down to play Kenny, that. If you're watching this video, <laughs> yes, grass. So is your Yamcha. 
Kenny and Justin's going down. Kenny and Justin have a sort of like going to rivalry war. with each other. Yeah, We're going to war. It all started because Kenny brought it up on stream. <laughs> Evil Kenny. He's going down. Apparently. In about a week, once I figure out. I have not played this game. He's played the beta. It's unfair. He's cheating. <laughs> yeah, just get that out there. Make sure the, the people know. Just so when you <laughs> lose horribly against him, they know he's cheating. He was cheating. I know. He has more experience. Um, no. uh, I know mainly because I'm getting it. Anthony's getting it. Um, me and Anthony might do something with Final Fantasy Dissidia when it comes out on the 30th. Cool. Day one, maybe day two, technically. I don't know. That'd be sick. We're probably gonna do something. That'd be good content for the channel, man. Exactly. Bring in some new blood. Uh, any other games, really? Um, no. Th this is new, though. <laughs> Clubcast. Clubcast, yeah, yeah. Sponsored by no one. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Sponsored by me. I pay myself and me. <laughs> he pays himself. <laughs> Get racking in the cash, boys. Yeah, boys. Gotta gotta go to Big Lots. Gotta get that working, boys. I, I still haven't started a timer, which is so dumb. <laughs> nice one, but, Justin. Uh, <laughs> lack for of their content. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, what's uh, that been about? Work and just non-creativity. Because the past couple times I've wanted to make videos, I've felt like they've just been kind of rushed. Mm -hmm. videos or things I've done late at night because work schedules fucked me over so I, I have the creative process it's just I don't want to edit at one o'clock in the morning when I have yeah, a that's... sleep schedule back finally that's fair so I've just been waiting for that one day to say hey I'm not doing anything let me just sit down and edit again yeah I can't say tomorrow technically because I don't know when this is even going up but hopefully there's content before this. Hopefully. It's coming soon. If not, it's already here and welcome back. Uh either way, we apologize for the for the lack I, of content. I apologize. I'm I'm ha I'm I'm an eighth lazy. Eighth <laughs> of it is laziness. Seven fourths is I don't want to put out bad shit. Or rushed shit. An eighth name. and seven fourths. <laughs> nice, Justin. <laughs> Mathematical. Quick maths. Quick maths. Uh, um, outside of that, uh, just let us know what you want to see. Yeah, all that'd honesty, because we can't think of shit. And in all honesty, you tell us to play it. Odds are we'll play it, unless we actually have no means of playing it. Yeah, that, that, that is the <laughs> that only limitation. I don't care if it's a game we've played before. I don't care if it's new. We'll play it. Even if it's only once, we'll play it. Yeah, boy. Just let us know. That's all you gotta do. Boys and girls. Just say in the comments. We're not gonna ridicule you. Say, oh, you say over meme, Overwatch. Over, over meme. <laughs> over meme, Overwatch. Fuck, I can, I can get other people to play. I, I'll buy it. Yeah. I will. I'll play with others. You might only see one video, but I'll play it. You won't get ridiculed, even though I'm not an Overwatch fan. I'll, I'll play it. You probably will be ridiculed. By the fans being like, oh, you can't, you can't. They can talk shit. shit. I don't care. I'm ready for it. I talk shit. <laughs> I talk shit to me. You, you want to make PUBG videos and for, I mean, for right, right. I suck ass. <laughs> I, I say that, but like my third time playing Fortnite, I got into the top three. That's pretty good. So it's pretty good on solos, mind you. So, so apparently when uh, when PUBG first came out, uh, there's this guy named Captain Sparkles on YouTube. He uh, I know Sparkles. His very first time playing PUBG, he got a chicken dinner. This bastard. Apparently, that I mean, that's what he said. <laughs> I, know, I was about to say I still didn't start the timer, but I did. So when the nice. timer hits like twenty, when my hammer hits like twenty minutes, we'll stop because I have no idea how long we've actually. Sure. Been yeah, we're gonna be going on for thirty minutes or Rough, so, roughly. <laughs> Maybe a little less because we didn't time it properly. But uh, um, anyways, segue. Oh yeah, <laughs> awesome <me>. segue. <laughs> uh, microtransactions, man. These things, they're they're horrible. They're they're they're, they're toxic for the community. When I, done I feel like wrong. When done wrong. When done right, it's it's a good source of income for developers who don't get paid. 
as much as they should for making a video game, you know, because mm. apparently video game prices have stayed relatively similar over the course of, you know, the, the length of the industry, the life of the industry anyways. And the, the prices of, of production and making these games have gone up. So, Definitely. um, when done wrong, microtransactions can be horrible, They're toxic. They can kill a game. <laughs> <Sorry>. but, <laughs> but apparently, yeah, my apparently, it, it doesn't affect the the fucking developers when when uh, they make a, when they make a microtransaction poorly and then uh, the the fans go against them <laughs> because EA still hasn't it hasn't been like hurt by uh, Battlefield 2 Battlefront yeah, 2 whatever they're, they're still making games yeah and man do it again and Which, again really sucks because I don't know Fucking I haven't we, played Battlefront 2 so I don't know much about neither it neither have I I've just seen some videos no of actual gameplay I haven't like heard anything for Battlefront 2 either yeah you moving your mic sucks <laughs> that I, does I, suck I do it. it it's like maybe they'll notice you do it it's <laughs> <laughs> well now they're gonna notice that no, <laughs> fucking around um but no, yeah I, yeah I like gameplay aspect. I don't mind Battlefront 2. Watching it definitely feels better than watching the first Battlefront. Like, I got bored playing and watching yeah. the first one, but the second one, I don't mind it as much. It's just the, the way to get things and effects stand. It's just no. Yeah. I, I don't want it. When, when a game tells you grind forever to get this character or spend, like, five bucks to get it, I, I think that's I think that's pretty bad. Basically, it that's that's got to be like the worst. It's not good. <laughs> I wish I could do that, man. I, can't, I mean, I, mean, I, I can't. I, mean, I just can't. You just gotta get a little bit closer. I just gotta be really quiet. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I, I feel like the games industry is just this is not good. <laughs> it's, it's not good for the games. <laughs> <laughs> really not. Can we talk about when season passes are also done right and wrong as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, uh, just exactly because we always bring it up, Batman was a good season pass, in my opinion. Extreme. I, I bought it and I loved it every time I got something for like the full year, basically. Even if it was only a skin or a car, it, it was good. Yeah. Especially when Season of Infamy came out. And then there's other games. I, I don't know any in particular because I... I tend to look into my season passes and mm -hmm. I don't buy bad season passes. Yeah, I mean which, which says it all, but um it, it's it's more on the it's more on the players, right? Cuz yeah. like you're like you're playing this game and you're like I have uh, I, I have so much money that I can spend, right? Yeah. And I've already paid 60 bucks for this game. I'm kind of enjoying it, but I'd enjoy it more if I had, like, this content that's, like, yeah. bonus and stuff like that. Like, the way you use your money as a person, as a player, it just, it, it dictates how, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly. <laughs> it's just, be smart with your money, basically. That's, that's just what I'm trying look, to say. Look into it before you buy it, because you don't, with, with most, if not all, season passes, you still have the option to buy it after it comes out. Like, even right now, you can still buy, like, Batman Season Pass and get everything. You can still buy other Season Passes, so... Yeah. You don't have to buy a Season Pass as soon as it comes out. You can wait for it to come out. It's people's argument with games as well, like... But why, like, why buy a game day one when you can wait for a review and some people just want to experience it? It's, like, it's personal experience in yeah. most parts, but... Can you think of a bad example of a Season Pass? Just one, seasons pass. Um, yeah, one that's just like when you got it, it was just not worth it. I, I know for a fact that I definitely have had that happen at least once or twice. I can't point out what game it is just because it's not like off the top of my head. Um, uh, I can definitely think of another good example of a seasons pass, which is uh, The Witcher. The Witcher 3, because um, that season pass, it's 
it's like good on a different spectrum from uh, Batman Arkham Knight mm. because Arkham Knight had skins and it had um, other maps, fighting packs. Yeah, yeah, level and packs. Then a, but and like then they, at they the were end a slight expansion to the story. Slight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Aside from that, they were for the most part just Cosmetic. small cosmetics, right? The Witcher, on the other hand, had two gigantic story packs that that were uh, sold with the season's pass, and it was really, really good. <laughs> um, uh, the first one, Hearts of Stone, was really good. It, it was like eight hours long or something like that, or six hours, and uh, I forget what the second one is called. What did you say the first one was? Hearts of Stone. Blood and Wine. Blood and Wine. Blood and Wine apparently was... Uh, gigantic like I didn't get finished playing it but like oh. yeah I know you were on The Witcher 3 when we are like fuck yeah so good it. dude so good I still have to play every other Witcher game yeah just I have I, all three I definitely recommend that yeah I have all three I just haven't gotten around to play them yet uh yeah anyways microtransactions good when done right bad when done wrong just uh listen to your uh, player base, I guess, yeah. is the best way. Uh, to, listen to your to gamer place. intuition, because that that you're the only one that can tell you if you made a good or bad purchase. Yeah, to, actually, get, that's so true. That is so true. If you like a game that's been panned by everyone else, all the reviews are like, "Oh, this game's bad." Like the the microtransactions are horrible. Don't ever get them. But if you find value in the pack, go for it. Yeah, it's all on you, man. Yeah. If people and ridicule woman. you for that, they a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> End of story. What's so, what's third on the docket? So Star Wars. Yeah. The Star Wars movie <laughs> episode eight. We saw that about a week ago. Yeah. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, for, I'm gonna let you okay, do your well, thing with this one. For, first, I'm gonna say it was a good movie. I, I will say that it is good. I'm, I'm mad for just. Itty bitty reasons. I'd give the movie overall a six out of ten. It's borderline seven, but like six. There's just so many things I had nitpicky with, which I'm gonna say right now, right here, right now. It's not a full spoiler, but I'm I'm gonna bring up certain parts of this movie. So spoiler, you got five seconds to either either mute it because I'm too lazy to add a timestamp for when we're done talking about this. <laughs> so just. I'm probably gonna add it anyways, but like that, that's been enough time. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. So, so what are the spoilers? So Leia quote unquote dies, but then yeah. the force decides to say, now nah, bitch, you coming back. <laughs> and she supermans her way back into the ship. Yep. And it, and nobody questions this. Nobody. Everyone's <laughs> just like, Leia! Oh my god, Leia! No so one, get her and get her uh, to the medical facility. No, no, no one fucking questions this, even though the entire like brig blew up. Everybody else in there died. That but, we know of. Because <laughs> who knows what the fuck the force is doing now? And she just comes flying on in, like it's this big epic moment. And I'm sitting there in the seat, like, what the fuck is this? I I hear people next to me, people we know, mind you, but like yeah. I hear them like, what? The fuck is this? The last I, th I think that was my reaction in the movie theater. Yeah. Was what the fuck? That was you. That was me. That was Johnny L. That I'm pretty sure that was Anthony as well. But I couldn't yeah. actually hear Kim Anthony. Too, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Yeah. But so, it was like everyone was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> it was dumb. <laughs> That's how dumb it is. It's dumb. It, it was. A, it was a little. It was a little dumb. Uh, I, for the most part like the movie I, I thought it was a good movie overall um i'd probably rate it like a like a seven to eight out of ten because just my rating is more for like the general enjoyment of the movie you mm -hmm. know I, instead of being like oh nitpicky like oh this part really sucked because it didn't make sense for the like the force because mm -hmm. I don't think there are any official rules on the force. It's not even the force. It's just that it brought me out of the movie. Yeah. That's the nitpickiness of it. Yeah. It, it brought me out of, okay, this is going... It, the re if my reaction was, holy shit. Yeah. I'd be fine with that. But no, it was... It was... I had to look at you. <laughs> I had to look at Johnny out and be like, 
I'm seeing this, right? I'm <laughs> watching this. Yeah, definitely, your your suspension of disbelief was uh, just taken Bro, away. It, from it's you. almost like yeah. that. But point number two, it's just not a suspension of disbelief. It's just it was dumb. Mm-hmm. Actually, hold on. There's something before that, but actually, I'll go to it. Snoop dying. A uh, Snoke. Yeah, I said Snoop again. <laughs> Snoop Dogg? We, we, we went over this, and it's still <laughs> fucked up. Snoke, dying. The, the guy who can move people with the flick of his fingernail. Yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. Moving Ray, Ray around, Ray like, around like she's a insane. fucking doll. He is inside Kylo Ren's head, and he can't sense this motherfucker moving the lightsaber of Luke Skywalker next to him? Yeah, that, that was... That was dumb, yeah. bro. That was bro, really bro. dumb. Like, what the fuck? This dude better come back with mechanical legs in the ninth movie, because I swear <laughs> to God, I'm mad. No, he's definitely dead. He's definitely Cause they, dead, because they, they cut him, him in half. Up. They burnt him down because the ship burned down, and then they exploded the ship. Like, so he's dead. <laughs> okay, and, and the next one I'm going to bring up is just a funny moment. Shirtless Kylo Ren. Oh for my a god! <laughs> Wide boy Kylo Ren, dude. Oh my god! That was so that's unnecessary. Ridiculous. That was just so unnecessary. <laughs> I can guarantee the all meme of them. is everywhere, man. The meme is just skyrocketing. But point number three. What was the the Admiral's name when Leia? The, I'm I'm like jumping all over the movie real quick, but oh Phasma. But, was it Phasma? Phasma, yeah, the the one with the silver trooper. Yeah, and yep. like the purple hair. No. The, the Admiral, the one that took over for Leia's oh, position. Oh, yeah, no, 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 you're talking about, a uh, fuck, I don't, did they say your name? They totally did say your name. They said I, I don't remember, I don't know way, what you're talking about. This bitch. The lady with the purple hair that took over for Leia. Worst fucking leader I've ever seen. <laughs> she has this big plan of escape, and like, yeah, we're gonna do it. What is it? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that, that's her response, basically, is shut the fuck up. To everyone, mind you. And, and if it had been just to that one guy, I don't, I don't remember his name. I don't, did Finn? No, no, not Finn. No, the other not guy, the, the white guy. I know, I was trying to remember his name. Oh, shit, Poe. Poe? Poe is his name. Is his name really Poe? Yes. That's weird. Whatever. <laughs> if it had just been to Poe, like, I understand that. That's cool, because, like, fine, she doesn't po, like Poe's him. being super aggressive. I was fine with that, but, like, when no one knew this plan yeah, until the when end. she didn't tell anybody. She Obviously, she told a couple people, or else the plan wouldn't have been, like, in yeah, effect. But, but, but it's, like, there was no... There was really still no reason not to tell Poe. If yeah. you know he's this go-getter, this guy that will go against you to do whatever, that will just say... Eh, fuck the plan. Just, woo! Why not tell him this ingenious plan? Yeah, because Le- then- Leia knew about it. She entrusted her that plan. Yeah. Why would she not? It makes no sense. Now, Cause, see. Because Poe's actions, because he didn't understand this, ultimately led to them fucking up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it was like, this all would have been solved if you had said, yeah, we're just gonna escape in the escape pods because they can't, like, sense those. So uh, they're going to be looking at our ship while the tiny ships go to a rebel base on this planet right over here. See, what would have been an even better plan is if they had just launched the escape pods all at once, like without anybody on them, mm. and then uh, Poe doing his thing and then them being like, oh, they're they're launching the, the things, fire at those, they blow those up, the ship just keeps going. It's just yeah, man. so many different plan. <laughs> just so many different things it could have done through communication. Yeah, man, it's the best. It's, it's the most important part of our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this last one's not an issue. It's just something I want to bring up now that we're just because I brought up the Kylo Ren thing. Mm-hmm. Luke, Luke dying, like, oh, uh, well, hold up. Spoilers for Sword Spoilers of for Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok. If you haven't seen that, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> fucking Luke dying like Odin over here. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> First off, I will say, the whole Luke thing at the end, it was badass, because even. No, yeah, definitely. It was badass. I was not expecting that, of all things. Mm-hmm. Fucking Luke shows up as a, like, force projection. Yeah, that's on an entirely different planet across the fucking galaxy. Mm-hmm. Just to take on Tycon. Tycon. Just to take on Kylo Ren. Just to take on Kylo Ren. 
and it was fucking bad. They shoot fucking missiles at him. You wonder, what the fuck? How do you escape that? <laughs> the fucking Kylo Ren cuts him in half. How is he still alive? Puts the lightsaber through him. Why? It's a He's not there. This fucking hol- bitch. I, I thought it was a hologram on the ground to begin with. Yeah. But then when you like start fighting, I'm like, Luke, you ingenious motherfucker. That, that was pretty sick. His death was funny as hell, though. Yeah. Just because. But he was on the rock and then just fades out. Mm hmm. <laughs> no. It, and the the reason why it was funny is because he was on the rock like laid out and he was like what the hell he wakes up he gets up and he's like alright I'm good no I'm not <laughs> and then he disappears like, okay I'm tired again let me just <laughs> um but yeah the, cause the entire time Luke was on there I was like how the fuck did you get there like mm-hmm. how and, the, and, and I love this cause them escaping um one of their main things points that they brought up was he had to have got in here somehow Where's the exit? Yeah, that was weird. That Having was, that be, like, a crazy coincidence. Like, you as a writer? Dude, you can't just randomly create <laughs> bullshit like that. That's such bullshit. I questioned that the entire time when this was happening yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Which that kind of... Uh, that was a... Nit- that that ble- re- uh, b- leads into a nitpick. Yeah. But it's like... Luke is a projection. He had no way of getting in there. He could just... Boop, just pop in there whenever he wanted mm-hmm. to. I like how he made a big entrance, though. That was kind of funny. And like, like he, he found a way in. <laughs> and it was like, Luke, how'd you get here? Dude. I, when I, he called, just... I called, like, so many things in that movie, oh my God, by the yeah. way, too. Yeah, yeah. Beginning Fucking... of the movie. <laughs> Ray, toss it. <laughs> Ray hands Luke the lightsaber. <laughs> I'm just like, go ahead, toss it. Literally a second later, Luke's just like, fuck this thing. <laughs> Tosses it. <laughs> like it. When Luke shows up, because it's like this desperate scenario, and I'm like, come on, Luke, show yourself. Five, ten seconds later, Luke walking down the <laughs> stairs like a fucking hero. Just, yeah. <laughs> in his big-ass hoodie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, a couple more things. Phasma's death. Yeah. That was... That was kind of dumb. But I, I feel like it's a setup for the next movie. Um, I feel like it's dumb just because Phasma was like this crazy character in the last episode. I know. And I, wa- movie, I wanted right? to see more. You yeah. You could see more. And... And then she just literally like... They take her on and like no problem. At, at the end of the movie too. Like, yeah. There's, there's really no other scene where you get to see... Phasma, and it's just like she's there, and they beat her. Justin mentioned a good point, um, where uh, they said that or, or Boba Fett's death. Oh yeah, and in, in the I think it was the fifth movie. I think I don't remember fifth or sixth. No, wait, maybe fourth. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the old trilogy. I, I think it is actually fifth, because Luke showed up in the fourth one, I think, and then actually got better in the fifth. Whatever. <laughs> fifth or sixth, actually, but... If they end up pulling a Boba Fett with her, that'd be very, very upsetting, but I feel like it's a setup for the next movie, so she comes back as, like... I'd say they learned their lesson, but it's not the same... It's sort of not the same people... It's not the same people writing yeah, it. Yeah, it's not It's not the George Lucas yeah. team. It's a different set of people. All right. Um, no, I, I, I want to bring uh, up one, one, one more thing. thing, one thing. thing. Okay. Yoda. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll say that. it's not about how he looks. <laughs> it's not about how he looks. Because I, no, no, no. I know there were people saying things that like, what, what the fuck's with Yoda? Is this new model? Can you yeah. No, Yoda looks fine. This guy... <laughs> Using the force from beyond the dead. Oh my god, he fucking uh what what anime is that? It's not an anime. Again, with the Thor Ragnarok spoilers, five, four, oh, three, three, two, whatever. Fucking he thored the shit out of that tree, my dude. dude so Luke's trying to <laughs> Luke is gonna burn down the tree that had like the old knowledge, the old scripts, the, the old knowledge, script, the knowledge. <laughs> And Luke the old, was being uh, force scripts. Basically, and, yeah. and Luke was posting out. He was like, "Nah, I can't do it." And Yoda's just like, "Come on!" Like, claps his hand or some shit like that, and lightning just boom. the biggest lightning bolt that Asgard has ever seen. <laughs> just fucking lands on that tree, sets it on fire, and Yoda's just laughing his ass off. Dude, uh, <sighs> Yoda. <laughs> That I was under- so weird, man. You can't say it wasn't Yoda either. If not, as a writer, it's stupid coincidence. Yeah, I mean... It's just bad writing if it's not Yoda, and if it is, it's like, why? <laughs> it's funny as hell, don't get me wrong. 
I, I, don't think was, it, I don't think it was meant to be funny, which is the problem. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, <laughs> I, that's probably one of the biggest and only gripes I have with the movie. Um, the Leia pulling herself scene. Uh, it would have been so much more meaningful if Leia died, like actually died. Yeah, because it yeah, would have yeah. it would have made Luke's actions a bit more like mm-hmm. meaningful, and, and more than just I have to stop Kylo Ren. It's like you killed my sister. Yeah, uh, that would it, it would have added a bit more to it. But they could have uh, killed off the whole cast too. There were a lot of people that, that should have died in this fucking movie. Yeah, a lot of people. Finn should have died. Mm-hmm. Poe probably should have died at some point. Who's that? Uh, that that that. Ah, <laughs> the um the thief guy that they hire. The ah uh, god, I don't remember his name. I don't think did they ever actually say say his name? I think so. I think he said it. At the very Either beginning. Way, he was like, my yeah. name, at your service. This, this drunken bastard. I thought he was cool. He was cool. I, I liked him. Yeah. I, I thought he was a douche at first. Fucking Kim and Johnny L had, like, a really big issue with him, apparently. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. Weird. Anyways, yeah. But What's next? <laughs> Star, Star Wars. It, it was Anthem, but we, we can probably brief on these, because we've almost been going for probably 30 minutes. Now. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Anthem, speaking of probably, stars, spe- speaking of the stars, anthem. Yeah, <laughs> bad segues, but uh, we'll we'll get better, probably. But uh, anthem, uh, EA is gonna rush the shit out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, not rush the shit, but they're not giving them any segue to make it. It's basically if it's not out by March, or if it's not done by March, it's gonna be out by March. Yeah, <laughs> which. EA, let them make the fucking game. I, I EA get EA is such a bad publisher. I hate them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I get it in the sense that um, Anthem has been in development since 2012, from what I read. Hmm. But either way, like I, I, I get it. and I don't get it. I get wanting to get the game out, but it's like why rush it or why say put it out when it's not finished? Yeah. I understand if you as a publisher say, hey, cut some content, put it in the DLC or something, get the game out as a finished product. Mm-hmm. I can get that in a reasonable way, but just saying, like, it's it's going to come out. EA is known for that kind of stuff, too, and which doesn't make it any better. It just sucks. Yeah. Because I, I wanted one of these games, a game kind of like Destiny and Division and stuff like that, but one you could actually play. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'm the only motherfucker interested in these kinds of games yeah. at certain points. Destiny, well, I'm not interested in. Thomas is, in mm-hmm. a way. He wasn't interested in Destiny 2, neither was I. I didn't like Destiny 2 just because it felt like Destiny 1. Yeah, it, it was one. It's what the quote unquote Taken King DLC. Like, hey, remember how they were saying, like, Taken King should have been, is what Destiny should have been? Yeah. Destiny 2 is what Taking King should have been. Yeah. The expansion DLC. Yeah. That's it. what it should have been. But no, it, it, it was. it's literally a, hey, another Destiny, not, not a DLC pack. Yeah. Which is honestly well, what it should have been. Anyways, speaking of EA killing uh, Bioware. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually. That one was. That kind one kind of. If you actually been. mentioned the name Bioware at yeah. some point. Well, no, because Anthem is a Bioware. Oh, oh I, I know, but like the, the segue yeah. could have been better. It, it could have. It, um, it relates, but yeah. yeah. Bioware is basically dead. <laughs> Anthem is like the only thing that's going to An- keep Anthem, them alive. I know, if Anthem doesn't do good, Bioware is like... Toast. Has to be toast at this point. Yeah, because they had, they had Need for Speed and... Um, Fucking Mass Effect to die last year. Yeah. Like straight up. Which that was sucks. so sad, dude. Right, I don't care for the need for speed games, but I saw yeah. gameplay of it and it looked promising. Mm-hmm. Um, same with Andromeda, but at the same time, it's like they, they just plummeted. It yeah. sucks. Hit my mic again. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this podcast. If you actually podcast. listened all the way through, thank you. I'm right, sorry that you had to listen word, to this. Write the words banana pie in the comments <laughs> if you listen through all the way. Yes, do it. <laughs> I want to see banana pies all throughout the comments. <laughs> nothing else. Not, not nothing else. I told you to t- t- yeah, tell yeah. us your feelings and stuff. So that too, which means just writing the comments. <laughs> Anyways, 
We'll catch you next time. Whenever that is. Ooh.